Welcome to our second video in our series on traditional approaches to cost assignment. This series is focusing on the plant-wide and departmental methods of allocating fixed manufacturing overhead costs. In this video, we are specifically looking at plant-wide overhead rates. So, what are our learning objectives for this video? First, we are going to revise the underlying workings of the plant-wide overhead rates. Once we have done this, we will look at an example. Let us revise the workings of the plant-wide overhead rates. Remember from our previous video that we first need to determine our total manufacturing overhead cost for the entire factory or operation. We then need to identify a single volume-based cost driver, which best explains the usage of the overhead. We can then calculate the overhead rate by dividing the overhead cost by the cost driver, we then use this overhead rate to allocate the overhead cost to the cost object. So, let us have a look at an example. We have a company, ABC PTY Limited, which manufactures widgets. We see that our direct material cost is 60 Rand per widget. We then see that each widget uses 5 direct labor hours, and these direct labor hours are paid at a rate of 20 Rand per hour. So far, the costs that we have encountered are our direct costs. Remember that direct costs can be directly traced to the product via documents such as material requisitions and timesheets. Now we move into our overheads. We see that our overheads amount to 1 million rand per annum and are fixed in nature. These overheads are allocated to the widgets using a plant-wide overhead rate with direct labor hours being the cost driver. We also see that the normal operating capacity is 50,000 widgets per annum. We are then required to determine the cost of one widget. Take a moment now to see if you can calculate the total product cost on your own. Let us begin to answer this question now by considering our basic layout of a product cost. We need direct materials and direct labor, which form our prime cost. We then need to add our variable and fixed manufacturing overheads to arrive at our total production cost. In the scenario, it tells us that our direct material cost is 60 Rand, so we can fold that in. Next, we are told that we have 5 hours of labor at 20 Rand per hour. We can multiply these together and see that we have a direct labor cost of 100 Rand. We can add our direct cost together to get our prime cost of 160 Rand. The scenario tells us nothing about variable overheads, so we can exclude it and leave it as zero. Now we come to the part we are really interested in, the fixed overheads. These need to be allocated to the products using a plant-wide basis. Let us go through the calculations. Remember to calculate our fixed overhead rate we need to divide our total fixed manufacturing overhead by the cost driver. In this scenario, we are told that the total fixed manufacturing overhead amounts to 1 million Rand. Now we need to identify the cost driver. Reading the scenario, we see that the overheads are allocated based on direct labor hours. Now we can't just divide the 1 million Rand by 5 hours because that is the hours of only one widget. Rather, we need to use the total estimated hours for the period. To get this, we need to multiply the five direct labor hours per widget by the capacity for the year. We are given the normal operating capacity as 50,000 widgets. So we need to take 50,000 multiplied by the five. This gives us a total cost driver of 250,000 hours. We can now divide the 1 million rand of overheads by the 250,000 hours to arrive at our fixed overhead absorption rate of 4 rand per direct labor hour. Now it is very important to note that this 4 rand is per direct labor hour. So when we come back to finalize our product cost, we can't just put the 4 rand in here because it is not per unit but rather per direct labor hour. So to get the cost per unit, we need to take the 4 Rand per direct labor hour 
and multiply it by the five direct labor hours per widget to get a fixed overhead cost per unit of 20 Rand. We can then add this 20 Rand onto the prime cost of 160 Rand to arrive at the total production cost of 180 Rand per widget. That brings us to the end of our example on plant-wide overhead rates. In our next group of videos, we will be working through a departmental example. This example will be split up over a number of videos. So our next video will deal with allocating overheads to the various departments. After this, we will have a separate video to deal with each of the different methods of reallocating the support department overheads to the production departments. See you next time.